everyone, Ellie McGuinness here and today I'm going to take you through a series of dynamic stretches. Now these are best done directly after your general warm up. So if you're doing a home based program that might be after 5 uh, minutes of skipping for example. If you're doing a gym based program it might be after warming up on the bike or the treadmill. And if you're about to play a sports game it would be straight after doing a run around the field for example. Now the primary objective of these dynamic stretches is to properly prepare your body for what's about to happen. Okay, and so that's mainly around preparing your nervous system, getting your muscles and joints ready and decreasing the chance of injury. But if you're not entirely sure that these are right for you then please check uh, with a health and fitness professional before getting started. Okay, so we're going to start with the first exercise. Okay, so remembering that this is straight after your general warm up. So we're just going to begin with some arm swings, okay, different variations that you can do on these. And what these are doing are stretching out your chest and your back, just loosening up those areas, ready to get going. Okay, and then we're going to do some arm circles back. Now there's no rules as to how many you need to do, it's just about making sure that uh, your body is properly prepared for whatever exercise you're about to do. Okay, so the the duration of these, I mean probably about five minutes is ideal and forward again. Uh, but again it depends specifically on what you're about to do. Okay, gonna try something a bit trickier. We're gonna go one arm forward and one arm back. So this is really great for the brain. Now if you haven't tried this before it might seem a bit tricky the first time you do it. Uh, but you will get it. So one forward, one back. Really great for body and brain connection. Okay, we're going to move into the torso now and we're going to twist from side to side. So keep your shoulders nice and relaxed when you do this. What I want you to do is also lift your heel as you twist. Okay, and that's just to uh, help prevent the knee from getting into any dubious positions where it might get hurt. Okay, so nice easy twist from side to side, loosening up the spine. Okay, next one we're going to warm up down the sides of the body. So just one hand on the hip for a little bit of support and then reaching and extending side to side. So you should feel a nice stretch right down the side of the body, same side as the arm that you're reaching up. And you may find as you keep going that you can just lean that little bit further. Good, nice one. Okay, hands on hips and we're going to do some nice big circles all the way around. As you lean forward, you should feel a bit of a stretch to the back of the legs. And as you lean back, see if you can get a bit of a stretch through the tummy. Going to go back the other way, leaning all the way out to the side as well. Now you may want to uh, keep your knees bent on this one, especially if you've got tight hamstrings. Okay, the next one you're going to feel into the hamstrings even more. We're going to take the arms out. So again, keep your knees bent if you need to, and side to side. All right, standing up, we're going to take the legs a little bit wider this time, feet turned out, and we're just going to lunge from side to side. Okay, so making sure in this one that your knees are following the direction of your foot. Okay, so getting a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a warm up through the inner thighs. Good stuff. Okay, warming up into the hips a bit more. Let's do some hip circles, alternating one on each side. Now you'll notice that all of these stretches are dynamic in nature, so they are moving stretches. So the purpose of that is to make sure that your body's not going to cool down. Okay, I quite often see people doing static stretches straight after a warm up, uh, which may not be the best place in your workout to be doing them. Good, okay, warming up into the hips a little bit more and working on some balance. We're just going to swing the leg forward and back. You'll notice that I reach the opposite hand forward. Okay, so this is going to start warming up through your core muscles too. You're going to need to make sure that they're switched on to help you maintain balance. Okay, and the other one. 
is a good one for me to do right now. I'm currently getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. I'm in Malaysia and I just really didn't think to put any mosquito repellent on or some uh, longer sleeves before I came out. So this one's helping to scare the mozzies away right now. Okay, little variation on that. This time we're going to go side to side. Okay, so try and focus on a point ahead of you to help you to balance as well. So as well as keeping the core muscles strong, reach up tall, focus on a point ahead of you. Okay, and I'm just going to finish with a few lunges as well. Now you could finish with lunges or squats or start getting into some more specific movements for whichever workout you're about to do. Now with these lunges, I've got my feet hip distance apart and that's helping me to maintain my balance. So that's it guys, doesn't need to take long. Uh, that's our series of dynamic stretches. I hope you're feeling great and ready for an awesome workout ahead. Thanks for watching.